The whole point of today is to try to get our investors from different sectors to understand all the startups that we're invested in and see how they might be able to collaborate with them. We have 30 different startups in the building at the moment and we have a huge amount of representation from the corporate world working out how they can help these startups scale as fast as possible. We have the opportunity to pitch in front of all the investors and also network with people from L'Oreal to Mark and Spencer, Viva, EasyJet, etc. This is our first portfolio day at Founders Factory. This is a really terrific way of us finding a really good group of startups. This brings a new kind of vibe and culture into the organization, so it exposes some of our people to a different way of working. So we work with huge brands already, even though we started about five, six months ago. Um, I mean, Founders Factory has been super helpful and introduced me to L'Oreal, one of the corporate investors, but also Sony Music and Universal Music and a lot of my big partners today. It's been very interesting hearing entrepreneurs present, but also hearing about the collaboration between the corporates and Founders Factory. To date, we've made two investments. The Accelerator Program, getting to know the companies, seeing their journey, how, how they evolve, how they're growing. It's, it's a fantastic collaboration. So we've been primarily working with the PR team, with the growth team and the business development team. What I like about Founders Factory is like you get a team supporting your team, especially during the phases of your business when you're accelerating your company. Founders Factory and EasyJet have created three startups. We've also brought a further 10 into the Accelerator program, and in three cases so far, we've actually signed commercial partnerships with them. So we've had one uh, partnership with Slick. L'Oreal has the biggest uh, footprint with salons in the UK and Ireland business, so we are now putting Slick in contact with some of our top partners. Founders Factory has the nimbleness and ability to progress new initiatives and take risks that are far more challenging to do inside the Viva itself. Shepa. It's been so successful that we're now having conversations around having Shepa get involved uh, in claims as well. Any big corporation today has to acknowledge that we cannot continue doing things the way we were doing them in the past. Each time we have an interaction with Founders Factory, each time we have an interaction with some startups, we come back inspired.